Arsenal to open talk to sign Asraf Hakimi. Yes, yes, people, welcome back to your boys' channel. Today, we are going to discuss whether Arsenal were in talks with Inter Milan to sign Asraf Hakimi. As well as that, what is the latest team news going into the crunch game versus Liverpool tomorrow? And what players could be set to start? Let's discuss in today's video. Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? My name is Babs14, and welcome back to your boys' channel. As always, before we get into the video, so make sure to go down there, show some love, smash it a like, subscribe to the Ting if you're new, and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, as always. And without any further ado, let's get into the latest Arsenal news today. Let's go! The first thing that we need to discuss is the future of Ashraf Hakimi. Ashraf Hakimi is a Moroccan international who plays for Inter Milan as a right back, right wing back, and even as a right midfielder and of course in terms of our position we're talking about is the right back of course right now we have Heki Biak, De Bellerin and Cedric Suarez they are both not the level we need to progress to the next level and so that's why we are discussing Inter Milan's Astra Vakimi today the reports are coming from the Telegraph in the UK saying that Arsenal have begun preparations to recruit the right back position this summer with interest in Inter Milan's Moroccan international Astra Vakimi should Hector Bellerin leave the club the club would look to sign a first choice right back Hakimi or another. So it seems like there's two man them that are still looking at two specific Donnies. One is Hakimi, other one I believe is Tarek Lamptey from Brighton or Albion. Because in terms of Hakimi, if we were to cast our minds to the back, man like David Ornstein, the very reliable journalist in the UK, has also claimed that Hakimi wants to move to the Premier League. And he's also confirmed that Arsenal have liked the player ever since he was at Real Madrid and also at Borussia Dortmund. So we've scouted him for a long, long time. Is it meant to be? We're going to have to wait and see. But most importantly, Arsenal are going to want to write that because I personally believe Hector Bellerin is set to leave Arsenal and it's most certainly going to happen. And in terms of Hector Bellerin right now at Arsenal, he has not played a league game since Manchester City well over a month ago. And that's why I think in terms of right back money, it's not going to be a massive issue. So when Arsenal do choose to sell him, you know, he's under a good contract. He's a Spanish international. He's a decent looking model as well, you know. So any of your GQs, your Burberry, your Gucci's, if you want to make an offer, we are here to listen. But most importantly, Arsenal should get a decent decent little fee for Hector Bellerin and so when that money comes in Arsenal are going to have to choose what that player is to take us to the next level as the right back and I keep on saying that but you have to give credit to Cedric Suarez whenever he's been called upon this season here's the first stat of the day in terms of win percentage based on games played we have won 77% of the games Cedric Suarez has played whereas only 43% of the games that Hector Bellerin has played and in terms of goals scored and goals conceded Cedric 31 scored Bellerin 25 Cedric 12 conceded Hector Bellerin 29 so as you can see right now the man in charge of that right back in my opinion forget my opinion the stats are talking for me is Cedric Suarez the Portuguese international but make no mistake even in terms of Hakimi there are questions to be asked is he a right back is he more a right wing back is he better going forwards of course he is but defensively there are a lot of questions to be asked but overall I ain't gonna lie to you it's still a massive upgrade from Bellerin to Hakimi going forwards we'd be a far more balanced team going forwards and be far far of a bigger threat we're gonna have a Kieran Tierney s player on the right hand side in terms of output creativity and that crossing ability as well so the question is would I take him Arsenal of course I would and uh if it can happen I'm here for it but the question for you guys is what's your thoughts on Ashraf Hakimi and do you think he's the right option for Arsenal to sign as that right back if Bellerin does leave let's have a discussion down below in the comments we also have to discuss the future of Martin Erdogan and what can I say some really really negative news today as we have had a quote today from Zidane himself as he's said on Odegaard's future at Real Madrid he will be with us 100% we are here we are proud of progress he has made a new contract is being discussed and we have given him assurances that he is happy so it looks like Martin Odegaard is gonna stay at Real Madrid after all and it's just, it's just sad man and uh ha 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 I'm just I'm just joking that that was a, a very bad late April Fool's joke which uh, I found on Twitter and I thought let me me put it onto YouTube so if you fell for that I do apologize if your heart's running I do apologize and um yeah <laughs> we're gonna move because uh we do also have a report from Fabrizio Romano who confirmed today that Mino Raiola was in Madrid after leaving Barcelona on a private flight and there is also a Haaland's father with him after a meeting with Barcelona president Laporta Raiola will talk today with Real Madrid about Haaland deal now how does that link into Arsenal Football Club no we're not gonna sign Haaland but there is a certain link with Real Madrid and Martin Odegaard 
Odegaard. And as the report from the Times have said today, Real Madrid are willing to sell Odegaard, Danny Ceballos, Jovic Bale Diaz to generate funds to sign Erling Haaland. Real Madrid's finances have been hit hard. Their latest financial accounts show they are 767 million in red. So overall, Real Madrid are being hit hard with the whole pandemic, so it's obviously understandable. And in terms of one of the few sellable assets they can get decent money for, that is Martin Odegaard. As of the fact they've made it clear that they want to sign Erling Haaland, that tells me there and there that Odegaard, I think if Arsenal pay the money and offer what Real Madrid want, we will get him and quite comfortably that is so. Overall, Arsenal will be given an opportunity to sign Martin Odegaard here. Now it's down to Arsenal to take it, take it seriously, put that money on that table and like sign that thing and bring him on that permanent transfer. It will be a beautiful day. But I'm going to ask you that same question one more time. What do you think is going to happen with the future of Martin Odegaard? Do you seriously think Arsenal are going to sign him? Let's discuss down below. Yes. Also, in terms of Lucas Torreira, we have an update here. After he gave an interview to ESPN saying, I am dying to play for Boca Juniors. If not now, in June or later. When my mother passed away, I told my agent that I don't want to play in Europe anymore and I want to go to Boca. Now, that is very, very sad, of course. Rest in peace to Lucas Torreira's mother, who unfortunately passed away to, I believe, COVID-19. And yeah, it's sad. And, you know, I can fully understand where he's coming from. And for me, this is one of the few things that is bigger than football in general. And if he wants to move to Boca Juniors, who might not be able to pay that big money that Arsenal might want for Lucas Herrera, I am willing to accept less money because, as I said, this is more than just football. And overall, I just want to offer my support to Lucas Herrera overall and also just my condolences to himself and his family. A very sad day indeed. Moving on, lads, let's discuss Arsenal versus Liverpool and the latest news. And the first bit of news is the team news, injury news and anything else regarding the international break. Look at that, hallelujah, it is finally over. In terms of the few players that may not be a fully fit, of course, the first one is a Mill Smith Rowe who picked up a hip injury on international duty with the England under-21s who were knocked out of the Euros in the group stages. And in terms of our other star boy, Bakayo Saka, he is still nursing that hamstring injury that he picked up, unfortunately, before the international break. So even he is not 100% fit. And Mikko Arteta has confirmed in his press conference yesterday that he is still not training with the first team as it stands. But saying that the likes of Odegaard, Pepe, Aubameyang, Partey and Co, all players that were on international duty, they are fit, they are available and they shall be starting versus Liverpool on that game at Saturday. And in terms of my own personal predicted lineup, let's have a discussion. The team that I've gone for is Leno in goal, Cedric, Louise, Gabriel and Tierney, Xhaka and Partey as the pivot, Odegaard as the 10, Pepe and Martinelli as the wingers and up front we've gone for Alexandra Lacazette. Now I already can see the comments saying, Babs, what are you doing? This is exactly why you're not the Arsenal manager. First things first, in terms of Cedric, I think he needs to start. I just think he's a better player as it stands right now than Hector Bellerin. Odegaard for me has to start, of course, with a form reason and also the fact that Smith Rowe is not fully fit. On the right hand side, with Saka also not being fit as well, I think Pepe has got to give a start as well. And on the left hand side, yes, I've gone for Pele's godson. Yes, I'm going to go for Gabriel Martinelli because, yeah, he's not started that many games. So I think he deserves a chance though because, yeah, this game is must win for Arsenal. But then again, what do we really have to lose? 10th place, 9th place, you know what I mean? So let's play Martinelli out wide there. And up front, I'm going to go for Alexandra Lacazette. And I have to go for that because he was outstanding in that game against West Ham and also be fully fit and available and sharp having not gone on international duty with France. But then again, I am leaving the likes of Aubameyang out and, you know, there's a few other players that if they're fit, they start as well. So, lads, that's my personal opinion. So let me know yours down below in the comments on what line you go for and also what is your prediction for the game. And on to the final part, lads, here is the other Arsenal news today. First things first, an exclusive on the future on Ainsley Maitland Niles. As again, the Telegraph is saying today that Ainsley Maitland Niles is planning to leave Arsenal this summer. And they have also said Southampton, Wolves, and Leicester City are all expected to be interested in signing Maitland Niles this summer. So there are definitely teams that are in for man like Fofty. He's made it clear plenty of times he wants to play as a central midfielder. I've got nothing against that. If you think of the next Steven Gerrard, go and do that, my guy. But ultimately, I don't think you're going to play down the middle as a central midfielder for Arsenal Football Club. And that's why I think Arsenal are just going to cash in on man like Fofty. It's a shame because I think he could be a class right back if he wants to play there. But of course, it's his choice, his life. I'm not here to argue. With there also being so many teams after him and him also being an England international, we should recoup a very decent little fee as well. As always, let me know your thoughts on the future of Ainsley Matt now in the comments below. Mikel Arteta has also given a word on the Arsenal loan players. Arteta on if our players out on loan will be brought back into the squad. We loaned them out because we wanted to give them some game time and see the level they can perform at away from here. 
here, try to develop them and then bring them back here to try to use them. So he's made it clear that all the Arsenal players could have a future in the club. For me personally, I think the likes of Mater and Niles, they're going to go. I think Willock, I'm unsure of, but in terms of likes of Saliba, he has to come back. He has to return and be involved in the first team, in my opinion. And in terms of Mateo Guendouzi, I'm not sure on that either. But I am going to give it to you, man, in the comments below. What players that are currently on loan for Arsenal do you want to see Arsenal bring back at the end of the season and use as well? Let's discuss down below. And there you, man, go. That is the latest Arsenal is there in there. I hope you have enjoyed, as always. Of course, if you have, smash your like on it, subscribe to the team if you're new, and let me know your thoughts in the comments, as always. The links to all my socials will be down below as well, so if you want to follow, man, I would appreciate that. And there you, man, go. The latest Arsenal news, the latest video, and I will see you tomorrow in a big crunch game against Liverpool. The international break is over, and we move on to the Arsenal game. This Saturday, we move in a bit.